What's up guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Matt and as you can see from the title of this video, I am going to try to make a game engine from scratch. So you might be wondering, why would I wanna make a game engine from scratch? Well, it's because I wanna make a game. And you might be saying, why don't you just use Unity or Unreal or any other engine? The answer is, I know how to use Unity. I've actually taken a course on how to make games in Unity. And one thing I realized, when you take a course, you basically just copy you know, line for line everything that they're writing and they're just telling you what to write. And yeah, I did have a game, but if I was to start from scratch, I didn't really know what to do because when you take these courses where they tell you everything you need to do, you don't really learn the details or kind of how things are working. You just kind of follow along and yeah, you get the gist of it, but I couldn't really just start from scratch. I ended up just having to look up everything because what I wanted to do wasn't what was shown in the tutorial. So I've kind of gotten away from doing those types of courses. Instead, you can just kind of compile a bunch of resources and figure it out on your own. It might take you longer, but I, specifically me, learn just way more. When it comes to game engines specifically, there's a ton of resources out there. You can basically put things together and figure out what you need to do. There's sites like Code Intrinsic and there's YouTube channels like The Cherno and game engine series, which have a ton of resources on graphics programming, game engines. The Cherno has a whole thing on C++, which is great because I know C++, I've actually taken a course in C++, but there's a lot of things I don't really know enough about, like, you know, dynamic and static linking, stuff like that, that I'm gonna need to figure out. So that's basically why I'm gonna make this game engine. And then the goal is to make a game on the game engine. Now I'm not trying to make the next Unreal Engine. Uh, it's just me and I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna make a basic 2D engine. I'm gonna write it all in C++ because I already know C++ and there's some resources like the Code Engine series, you know, they mix and match. He's using C Sharp and C++. I'm just gonna stick with C++ to keep it simple. I actually just got a new PC. I don't even have Visual Studio installed on it yet or C++, so that's gonna be step number one, obviously. I'm gonna download Visual Studio right now and we'll just get into it. All right, Visual Studio. I already have Visual Studio code. Um, I, I do know we'll probably need that for some things just because it's a basic text editor. So I'm guessing community. Oh, it's already done. I don't know if I should just install the C, like the .NET stuff too, just in case. Probably not, because I'm not, I don't plan on using C-sharp unless I'm super stuck and I just have to follow one of those guys that uses C-sharp. Actually, I'm just gonna install everything. All right, so it's going. Now we just wait. Look at this. We're on our way to making a game engine. It's taking a long time. 26%. And I've been waiting for like five minutes now. I guess it's not that bad watching the uh, Kanye West documentary on Netflix while we wait for this to download. All right, we're at 43%. And we're done. I ate 1.4 pounds of fruit waiting for this thing to download. All right, we got Visual Studio, we're good to go. So let's just start a new project. Test project. I have seen that it's not always the best idea to put your projects in your like a user file like you should just make another c drive file just called dev or something new folder dev solution name dev we'll just call this file turbo why turbo i don't know that's gonna be the name of the engine there's no reason for it why is the name of this youtube channel super turbo i just needed a name and i typed that in so let's create this why is this over here I don't like that. I want this over here. Um, I want this on the left, like every other text editor ever. Why is this on the right? I definitely don't want that. Dude, what is this? What is this? View, here we go. Output. Here, ha, 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 there we go. Make this way smaller. Okay, so 
It seems to be working. Let's just uh, file new. File. We want this. How do I rename it? Can I just start going? Wow, this is just so much different. Just include IO. I mean, this seems to be working. It just it just looks different. That's all it is. I wonder if I should have did it here. <laughs> Add new item. Is that what that? Yeah, I don't know. I find it weird that there's just not miscellaneous file. I don't want it to be that. Let's try this. I don't want to have it. I just want that. I just want a basic name. This is what I was thinking. I thought I would be able to see it over there. So include file stream. Build started. One succeeded. Cool. Copy as path. Hey, okay. Well, we got it to work. So we're ready to go. We we have Visual Studio set up and we have C++. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.